Okay guys, how's it going? We're gonna talk about how I found my first mentor and also maybe behind the scenes of this seven figure sales funnel. With that being said, you know, we're in uh, Rob's place, another seven figure entrepreneur. With that being said, cue the intro. show you just, just joking I've, I've realized I've been like super obnoxious in these videos so I'm kind of like toning things down what, what, what do you guys think by the way like Joe, this mic is fire man it's like crazy but yeah we're gonna talk about this really interesting story but we're just gonna like introduce the scene you know right here we're like uploading YouTube videos we got Rob over here we're creating like oh Jesus creating a seven-figure sales funnel where like our businesses are basically having like making money online babies and we have the beautiful Elu who's making Amazing strawberries. <laughs> wow, girl. Anyways, there's Mike, you're so OCD. Let's go back, let's go back to the sales fund, okay? So right now you're probably wondering like how I found my first mentor. And it's gonna be really exciting because like I said, man, it wasn't every single day that we could just like pop out seven figure sales funnels like on command, like out the butt, right? It, it literally started with a lot of time and effort and like hardships and trials and pain and failure and like my friends judging me, my girlfriend thinking it was stupid at the time, my mom and dad thinking I was dumb because you know, like they wanted to be a dentist and, and it was always really hard, right? So like I said, now it, it, it's amazing because every single day I get to surround myself around mentors. Rob is one of them. He teaches me so much things. Uh, how's it going Rob? How's it going? Good. Yeah. He's like so good at sales copy and just like the psychology behind selling and I'm learning so much from him and stuff like that. And I really think our ability to just pop out seven figure sales funnels by now is literally because of the fact of just me surrounding myself around all these people. But what you guys understand, especially with everyone starting off, because at the end of the day, you know, YouTube videos, they can help or like, other than that, like YouTube videos or like blogs, all of that can help. But what really helps is when you actually have a mentor that is literally there with you, like in the same almost room, in the same environment, because what happens and what you're gonna understand, and it, when it comes to like mentorship, and, and this is what makes sense, okay? If you think about where you are right now, and a lot of people are messaging me right now, they're like, oh Mike, I'm not making any money, I'm not making any money, and the reason because of that is because your identity or your thermostat on how wealthy you are is down here, right? So what happens, well, how does the thermostat work, right? When, when we set the thermostat here to like, for example, uh, 75 degrees, what happens if it gets too hot, okay? It cools the room down, the thermostat cools the room down. What happens when it gets too cold? You know, the heater turns on and then it just warms it back up, it warms it back up. Whatever happens in the thermostat, it brings it back to where it was set. The problem with most people, and, and let, let me let me tell you this metaphor will make sense, is the fact that their thermostats are so damn low, okay? They're so damn low, they wanna make a million dollars a year, they wanna create seven figure sales funnels in the next five minutes or less, like all those damn clickbaity videos, but their identity and who they are as a person is only worth like $7 an hour because that's just like how we are taught, right? From school and just like our friends and our family and what we thought we were worth. And the problem with that and trying to create seven figures in the next year is their mind isn't ready for it. And that's why like if you see, you know, for example, uh, you see someone winning the lottery, right? They're from the trailer park, they win the lottery. Usually the year after that, they are more broke and more depressed and sometimes they're even dead because their identity is not prepared for that level of income. And it's the same thing with the other way, right? Like for example, if you have Donald Trump, billionaire, becomes bankrupt, what happens the following year? Because his thermostat is set at a billion dollars a year or whatever, he always ends up coming back to what it is, okay? And this is kind of like what Jim Rohn said, one of like my earliest like far away mentors that I would listen to audiobooks when I was like walking around in college and stuff like that, when everyone else was like, you're dumb, you're stupid. I was just like listening to Jim Rohn in my um, just like MP3 player and just like bobbing my head so people didn't think I was weird and not listening to music. But he said, in order for you to earn more, you have to become more. And that's kind of like what I'm talking about with the thermostat, okay? So the reason why everyone needs to find a mentor and how like I found mine is because I knew that my thermostat was right here, it was at $7 an hour, and for me to get around like the seven figure sales funnel mark, right, I had to surround myself around mentors who were at that because what happens when you surround yourself around these people that are already doing it is it literally just like kickstarts your thermostat 
to get hotter, to like raise or to elevate, right? Like that's literally what it means when you say the five people you hang around with the most, you become the average of them because of the fact that you know your standards raise, your beliefs change, your limiting beliefs are destroyed and you understand that if they're able to do that, then why can't you, right? Why can't you? So let's actually go over how I found my first mentor and then we'll talk about like the behind the scenes on the sales funnel because like I said, this is, this, this is a pretty sick sales funnel that me and Rob are going with and um, you guys are literally seeing the behind the scenes. It's, it's pretty lit, right? Comment below, it's lit if you think it's lit. Anyways, I remember it was when I was 18 years old and that's when my first mentor came about, right? I, I truly believe that when the student is ready, the mentor will appear. Now, a lot of you guys, you guys are thinking, oh man, I'm ready, I'm ready. But you gotta ask yourself, are you ready, man? Are you putting yourself through like that mental exercise of just understanding what it's going to take to create a six and seven figure sales funnel or a business or a side hobby or a hustle or a blog or an e-commerce store or a sales funnel or whatever? Are you guys ready for that, okay? Because for me, I wasn't ready for that, okay? I remember when I was like, 18 years old and I was like, okay, man, I, I, I need something else because I remember I was in college and my only way to make money at the time was, you know, working as a summer camp counselor where I would like swing signs on like the freaking side of the street to get people to GNC so that I could also pay for my protein. But like, like it was just hard making money, right? And the reason why I did, I wasn't ready for like a mentor at that time in my life is because I just, like I was lost, man. I don't know how many of you guys can relate, just feeling lost. They like, feel like you're on this path where it seems like nothing is going right and everything is just so hard and maybe you're already starting a business but you're wondering why it's not working yet it's working for all these other people. And it's just probably the hardest part of the journey, right? And, and many of you guys just wanna like give up, right? And, and that's where I was but the thing is, here was the craziest thing. I didn't know that I needed a mentor. Number two, I didn't know that I needed to create a business because my entire life, you know, society brainwashed me into becoming a dentist and to have a job. And I remember when I first met my first mentor, it like literally punched me in the face because it was just so different to what I was used to. You know, he, his name was Zach. I met him when I was 18, he was 21. He was like, he, he dropped out of college. He was making seven grand a month with this like um, business that he created. I was like super jacked, so immediately I was like intimidated on math because I was like, anyone that's bigger than me, you know, like I immediately don't like them because I don't know, man, it was like an ego thing that I had. And another thing when it comes to finding a mentor is you gotta just like kill your ego because it's not, it's not like your ego is not gonna pay the bills, right? So when I met him, this was the first thing that changed in my life, right? It's when you start seeing people that started off with less than you that now have more than you in terms of like resources and money of success. And that's what initially changed my mindset. It, it humbled me and it made me realize, okay, there's something that he's doing right that I'm not doing that is giving him those results that I don't have, right? So the first step, of course, in finding a mentor is to drop your ego, man, because all these people that are trying to learn how to make money online, they have this ego. They think, oh, I've tried this business or, oh, you know, I've read Think and Grow Rich. Like, just because you read Think and Grow Rich doesn't make you an entrepreneur, right? What you guys understand is you gotta drop the ego and just allow yourself to learn because when you're ready and when you're humbled and you understand that you know nothing, that's when like a mentor will just pop out literally out of nowhere. Like I remember if by like law of attraction or whatever, like I was looking for someone like him and he literally just like came to my college and I met him while he was just like traveling and having fun and meeting some friends in the university. And I was like, man, I need to learn from this. Okay, so that, is, that leads me to the second step of what happened on how I met my mentor is, you know, I was looking at him and initially what happened is it started questioning my beliefs. Now here's what you guys gonna understand, man. You guys wanna make a lot of money, but before you can make a lot of money, you gotta start questioning the current thoughts that are going on in your mind because the only difference between you and the person that has what you want are what are the questions that you are asking yourself on a daily basis? I knew that Zach was asking himself different questions than I was. You know, he's, he's wondering like, how can I live life more of abundance and freedom? I'm like, how can I save money? How can I like, you know, be in scarcity? How can I like just like blame other people while he was like taking responsibility? That was like the second thing, man. And I remember it was the weirdest thing because, you know, it's weird when you start talking to people about like personal development and stuff like that and changing your mindset, right? Like for me, when I talk to like my friends in like my fraternity or like all my friends in college, they thought I was like freaking crazy. But I remember when like Zach looked at me and like the fire in his eyes on, when he, when, when I was like, yo, what do you wanna do with your life? He was like, he looked at me, he's like, man, it's something crazy that what happens? Cause he kind of sounded like Bob Proctor cause he was like mentored by Bob Proctor. He was like, it's something crazy when you just like see something in your mind 
and you're able to manifest it and hold it in your hand. And he was just like, do the craziest conversations with me where it literally was like, man, like, is this guy crazy or is everyone else crazy? And is this guy like the only one spitting the truth? And the more that I stood around him, the more that it burnt my thermostat higher to a higher level of standard that I held myself with, that I started questioning everyone else, right? That's the beauty about like finding a mentor is when you're by yourself and you're building your business and you're building your shop by store, your blog, your affiliate marketing business or ClickBank, right? Everyone's questioning you. And then you start questioning yourself. You start questioning like, is, will this work for me? Right? And most of the time, it's not people that cause you to give up. It's you believing in their limiting beliefs that cause you to give up. So what happened when I found my mentor is like, I was like adopting his mindset, right? He was like positively brainwashing me. And I was like, man, this is the most insane thing ever. And like I said, the only way for your life to change is for you to start adopting thoughts that you are not currently thinking yet. You need to be aware of your mind. And I remember I was like reading um, As a Man Thinketh by like, definitely read the book, but you know, your mind, imagine your mind kind of like a garden where there's always weeds growing constantly. And if you're not actively taking out the weeds and throwing it out, then you're literally allowing this garden of your mind to be filled with weeds, which is like your negative thoughts. So one of the things that you should start doing, especially this will also help attract a mentor, is like start keeping track of the negative thoughts that are going on in your mind because that's what's literally sabotaging you from becoming successful. So let's, let's go back to the story of like meeting my first mentor, Zach, and how I leveraged that and to where I am today. Literally, I think where you understand where it comes to opportunity is when you find your first mentor kind of like opens up the floodgates of what you think is possible. And then it kind of like lifts your paradigm and your level of thinking, your vibration to a whole new level. But this is what you guys understand, right? Because before, when I was just in dentistry, the lowest version of my paradigm was, I thought there was just, like I didn't even know opportunity existed, okay? And then I met my first mentor, Zach, and I was like, oh my God, opportunity is abundant. There's so much ways to make money online and blah, blah, and stuff like that. But then after I learned from Zach, it led me to the third paradigm, which made me understand, which is like a higher than, think about this, right? Like the lowest paradigm is like those people like walking around like in college, just like drones or like stuck in traffic and just, you know, just hating their lives and just like, you know, brainwashed and just not even thinking as they're going, literally like two, three hours pass in traffic and you haven't thought one thought that was yourself, right? You're always just like in reaction. That's like the lowest paradigm of people. The second paradigm is like, you think there's an abundance of opportunity. And that's when you start first start off, maybe finding your first mentor. Maybe you've seen a couple YouTube videos. You're like, oh my God, this is cool. This make money online thing is awesome. But then there's like the third paradigm, which I learned from like the mentors that I'm having when I'm like meeting all these people and like Rob and Gary and just like hanging out with all these guys is when it comes to a scarcity amount of opportunity, where when you understand that, you know, we're only around for a hundred years, right? At most, if we're gonna live that long, and you have to be willing to be aware when the opportunity of the lifetime literally falls in your lap. Okay, Eric Thomas says this the most, you need to take advantage of this opportunity of the lifetime that we have in the lifetime of the opportunity. Man, with like ClickBank, with Shopify, with blogging, with affiliate marketing, you know, this stuff isn't gonna exist in the next couple of years, or if anything, it's gonna get more saturated. And you guys gonna understand, and what I learned from them, is you need to take action now, instead of waiting to figure it out later. And that's kind of like the secret that I've learned, okay, is, when you find your first mentor, a lot of you want to just be perfect and you want to like get started and you want to make sure everything else is in place. But what a mentor will tell you is it's going to be sloppy in the beginning, right? Zach told me this when I first started. It's like, you're not going to know everything, right? But unlike college where you learn, 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 learn for four years and then maybe get a job and then you earn with entrepreneurship and making money online, you earn as you learn. Right, like when I started off at 18, I didn't know everything, but heck, I was able to make my first $100 a day. And then I started getting older, right? And then like I started whittling down the things that I didn't know and started understanding things that I did know, which was creating seven figure sales funnels like out of my butt, but it wasn't always out of my butt because you know, Rob helped out a lot as well. Now that's like the biggest thing, but remember it, it, it's gonna take time and the biggest thing is just finding a person that you resonate with, with the messaging, with the idea, with the lifestyle, and just understanding, man, what are the thoughts that he's thinking on a daily basis that I'm not thinking, and just reverse engineer um, it to start thinking like that. And here's like the beautiful thing about me finding my first mentor, is it's almost like I attracted him in my life because the thing about like vibrations, right, is like attracts like, and if you're coming at these mentors with like a low vibration, they're not gonna wanna have anything to do with you, right? So 
for you to attract your mentor, because this isn't just about me attracting my mentor, you need to put yourself in that state. And that's literally how I bond with so many people. Like for example, when I met Gavin, right? Gavin was like someone that like took a course or like bought a book of mine. And instead of like being in low vibration, he was like in this abundant vibration. And I was like, man, I just want to like hang out with him and give, give, give as much. And I just want to help him like grow his YouTube channel or something like that, right? And that's what you guys are gonna understand, man. Put yourself at the end of the day, long story short, see where your mentor is, Try elevating your mindset to the highest level of the temperature or the thermostat possible so that when you guys meet, he's gonna wanna just bring you up. And once you realize that, then the world is yours, guys. But with that being said, if you guys want more of this, this is uh, pretty complicated and we don't do screen shares anymore, so maybe we'll just add some free training in the link in the description. But with that being said, outro.